Hey everyone, Glenn Victor here again. We are at the United Safety Council monthly networking luncheon for the month of April 2016. We've really been looking forward to today's presentation. We have two fantastic speakers, both Art Edwards and Jack Jamba, here to talk to us all about the OSHA Voluntary Protection Program, also known as the VPP Program. Well, I've been involved with VPP for a number of years, quite a long, long time. Uh, I've seen what uh, VPP can do in terms of improving safety and health at various work sites, uh, not only bringing down uh, mishaps, but also bringing down injury and, and bad things happening to employees. So I'm excited about VP. I am always excited about VPP. While I encourage people to certify, get certified through OSHA and what have you, if they're not going to do that, I then encourage them to have a very healthy safety and health management system and basically uh, embrace the tenets of VPP. I feel very good about being here so that I can express my appreciation for what VPP has done for our uh, company and also for what it's done for me. The fact that I like it so much. So many great benefits to businesses that work to acquire that VPP status of course, Art and Jack have spent their whole careers working in safety and bring a wealth of knowledge to the table in their presentation today when it comes to safety and the VPP program. Well, just open to really whatever's uh, you know relevant, what we could apply back at the uh, resort, uh, anything that's got to do with safety or security. Uh, although we come from different backgrounds, different industries, uh, there are things that could be relevant across many industries. Well, I'm interested in any changes we may have or that they may have uh, for the VPP. So it's a good way to keep up to date on any changes, uh, networking with friends and um, talking safety. That's, that's why I come here, is just to learn a little more, you get, get to know people, and uh, bring something back to the table to my company. So. I would like to take away just some more knowledge about it. Um, I've had some interactions with OSHA, as all of us have, and uh, anything to help me learn more about the intricacies of safety and OSHA and how we could work together would just benefit me greatly. So uh, I'm looking to meet some more people that have, have, are in the safety industry with myself and, and just gain more knowledge. We're here at the beautiful Duffy's Restaurant located on Conroy, just east of I-4. We have a private meeting room that's perfect for our networking luncheons and of course the food is always great here at Duffy's. Everyone having a great time. Lots of networking taking place and business cards being exchanged. A great presentation from Jack and Art on the VPP program. Uh, I come for the presentation but I also come for the uh, interaction with the, you know, the networking opportunity and uh, try and make every single luncheon that you, you have. I'm very interested in the OSHA, any, anything that's OSHA related as well as, and you know, the networking as, as well. You know, get a chance to meet some other folks in the, in the area here and uh, maybe I can help them, they can help me. Actually, this is, this is gonna be my, my introduction. I don't have no idea, I'm very excited to hear about it. So the main reason I came today is, is to, to learn the process of, of opening up the VPP conversation for, for facilities. Our, our facility is not in VPP, VPP right now. Uh, so we want to uh, see what, what steps are, are needed to, to find out where the gaps are and figure out how we can uh, maybe implement that process on our site. You know, it was great to have people that who are very experienced in the different safety programs and that you get to hear other people's views on how that you can prepare yourself and other, prepare other people that you might know who's in the same occupation and make them aware of different situations that they could be in. Um, you know, it was also great to see that other companies were coming out and that other businesses have their own safety departments and then other businesses could network together and, you know, learn off from each other. Next time we'll meet in Brevard County for our June networking luncheon where we'll have Chief Meteorologist Tom Terry from Channel 9 here in Central Florida to talk to us about hurricane safety with the hurricane season kicking off in June. So be sure to register for that and come on out and join us. Now if you might have a speaker in mind or maybe like to speak yourself at one of the United Safety Council monthly networking luncheons, give us a call anytime. We'd love to talk to you. And as always, if you would, don't forget to go to our Facebook page, give us a like, and we hope to see you at the next United Safety Council monthly networking luncheon.